morning everybody it is indeed a pleasure to be here and uh, i am dr rajpal i am an i am an interventional cardiologist in kukusami naidu memorial hospital kwaimbatore this is part of uh, content is part of the medical information clear website which is run by the environ group and uh, today is uh, what we will be briefly discussing is what happens to heart attacks in young individuals and why is it that such young people get heart attacks i think uh, the, uh, the issue also that we need to address is whether heart attacks are more common now than in the past like ipo heart attack konja adhigama varudha chinna vayasla adhigama varudha illati munnadi illinde idhe maadhiri irundha that's what we need we need to think on that also it is possible that heart attacks were all were quite prevalent in young people even in the past but the reason that now we are being able to we are able to pick up these uh, individuals is probably the average indian affordability has gone up so more of these young people can reach hospitals it's also possible that the awareness has gone up by various means so more of these young individuals with heart attacks actually reach the hospital so it is possible that that this tremendous increase in the young heart attacks that we see is something that has been there for quite some time and it is only that these people are able to access health care easily that we are aware of and we believe that there has been a jump in these numbers Now, having put that into perspective we need to also understand why is it that young people such young people get into heart trouble and uh, so frequently i think the one most important aspect would be smoking there has been a tremendous increase in the incidence of smoking in the last two decades of course you'll be surprised to know and glad to know that the incidence that the increase in the people of the numbers of people who who, are, who smoke has actually plateaued and hopefully we see over the next few years a fall in this incidence but i think the most important cause of young heart attacks of heart attacks in young individuals is smoking there can be no doubt about this smoking causes the blood supply the blood vessels which supply the heart to actually shrink it causes the accumulation of 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 uh, blockage material that is cholesterol and it causes damages the vessel wall of the blood supply of the blood vessels that supply the heart and so this can predispose to heart attacks so it's for these reasons that young people today get these problems other issues are of course these young people are also subject to the same risk factors that the elderly population has for example hypertension diabetes poor food eating have food eating habits lack of exercise a stressful life all these things also can lead to heart attacks uh, in a younger individual also i would also like to bring to attention that it is for, it is likely that india we have a huge genetic predisposition to coronary artery disease that is heart disease and heart blocks in fact uh, the indian population which is in the, which has been born brought up bred fed in the west that population is exposed to all the environmental factors of the west but still they have a higher incidence of heart disease and i believe and we believe that that is due to the fact that they have that, that indians have a selective genetic predisposition to heart disease so that is something which is which we should which concerns us and which is important of course it's also important that every individual realizes that what are the symptoms that can that are uh, suggestive of heart attack and this is common in the young in the elderly in any age group means chest discomfort some sort of discomfort in the chest or some sort of unexplainable feeling in the chest left arm right arm 
jaw, throat, basically any discomfort from the nose to the navel, one would like to rule out, think of heart disease and rule it out before being sure that you know we are, that we are not missing the bus. Somebody has these symptoms and if he has if he's a diabetic, if he has other associated risk factors like diabetes or hypertension or he's a smoker, then we would like to think rule out heart disease much more vigorously. So sometimes if you don't know, if you don't know what your son is doing in the evening, if you look at his friends, then you know. So for example, so like that, even if you're not sure of the heart pain, what pain this gentleman has, but if you look at how many bad friends he has, like if he has diabetes, hypertension, he's a smoker, then one would like to rule out heart disease. And I think the most important thing is when somebody, young person has a heart attack, it is best to reach the hospital early. Reach within the golden hour, then the number of lives saved are enormous. So try, when somebody has heart pain, you, and we feel that we suspect a heart problem, it is better to rush and better you know, not to miss the bus and come early and reach the hospital as soon as possible. One must try and reach which is the golden hour in which time things can be done and the blocks can be removed and patient can have a good quality of life. And of course, one would, this would also mean taking lifelong medication, taking care of one's health by exercise, diet, regular medication, regular checkups, all that is important. But I think the most important message that we can give today is the youth of today, they are the wealth of our country. They are the health and wealth of our country and the future of our country. And therefore, I think the best way to handle this is by prevention, stop smoking, exercise, take your meals uh, carefully, avoid unnecessary foods, fried foods and get onto a healthy diet and exercise program, stop smoking and I think we will have a better future ahead and we will prevent all these, at least a large number of these heart attacks. Thank you for your patient listening.